Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. We've got a good one for you today. One I think you can make money on. Nice little bet. Um, it's going to be a fighter. Sam Goodman uh, is fighting against... So this guy's got two names. I, I don't I don't understand Thailand. It's either that's Kana Lungafan or his nickname, which is it's, it's easy to say, Chioni... Marwat, Warwat. I'm going to go with the latter. I don't understand how these Thai fighters always have two names, but it is what it is. Um, Sam Goodman, uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow three boxing, three boxing blog. Uh, follow me all forms social media. The boxing bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Bring down the house. Join the Patreon. Link is in the descriptions. Also in the ticker below. Uh, the Patreon gets you all the best, uh, all the best bets. It gets you up to date props. All the prop bets that aren't released when I do the videos that DraftKings comes out with later, it gets you the lock of the week. The lock of the week makes every single one money. I uh, get you ask the bookie anything, ask me, request a video. I do it all for y'all. Let me know. Uh, subscribe, five dollars a month. Uh, it doesn't cost you money, it makes you money. Just five dollars a month to get all the best gambling advice there is. That's in the Patreon link, it's in the description. Also, subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, Sam Goodman is a solid fighter. Uh, he's got some good wins already. He's got a win over uh, Miguel Flores. Uh, he's got a win over Ray Eileen, which is his best win. Those were back-to-back uh, in 2023. Uh, he's got a win over Zhang Lu, Lu Zhang, however we say that. Uh, that was back also in 2023. So 2023 was a banner year for him. Uh, he's got a win over TJ Doheny. So he's very, very busy in 2023. Um, and then he, he has uh, one win so far in this year, 2024. He beat a guy named Mark Schlebs. I uh, stopped him in the fourth round. Excellent footwork. Great at controlling distance. Avoid shots well. He, he's not easy to hit. He's got good bounce to his step. Very quick hands. He's a good athlete. Uh, looks to come forward. He's, it's very difficult to hit clean. Hang on one second. Oh, like I said, he's hard to hit clean. He throws... Quick combinations, throws hard, straight shots. Judges measures distance extremely well. He he's, controls the ring really well. He gets in and out uh, when he wants to. Otherwise, he's, he likes to move forward. He doesn't really sit down on his punches too well. Uh, he fires off a lot of shots, and he's more on his toes than he is really sitting on his punches. He has this herky-jerky little style and rhythm to him that you'll, you'll guys to see. Um, he can track you down. He can close the distance. He can get in and he can do what he wants to do, especially against slower fighters, which he's going to have in this name is going to continue to kill me. Uh, he's going to have a slower fighter in The Rock. Warawat, I guess is how we're saying that's who he's fighting. Like I said, he doesn't really sit down uh, and commit to his shots. But his, his power may be a little better than his record suggests. It's just using his power. Can he use his power? Can he maximize his power better than he is? I think the power is, is better than he suggests. He just needs to use it. He knows he needs to learn how to use his power. He has respectable pop, right? But he just needs to sit down on it and commit to his shots a little more. Uh, you can see he's got this jitter, jittery style. He's in, out. He doesn't really want to commit, but he wants to come forward. He's quick. He's a good athlete. He's got good movement. He's hard to hit. He's a good fighter. Uh, can he get to the highest level? He's got wins already that suggest that he can. Went over Reese Eileen is, is, is A+. plus. He's got a win over... Uh, most, uh, Miguel Flores, which is a good win. So he, he's been able to put it together. Um, Warawat. Chinoy Warawat, I guess is how we're saying this. Strong guy. Middle of the ring fighter. Strong base. Offensive minded. Likes to be off the front foot as well. So th we can see what we have. He, he's going to try to seek and destroy against a guy that doesn't commit to his shots. We're going to see if this, this works off. Sits down on his punches. Commits to his shots very well. Mixes up head and body. Uses the ring. He's not a super athlete. He's not super fast or, or anything like that. Sticks out. Uses his jab, but he's lazy with it. He's And he's easy to hit. He's easy to counter. He's easy to time. And he's not particularly fast. So he can be hit. He, he, he's been dropped before. He's not a terrible fighter. He's got some good offensive skills, but he's got some bad habits. 
Not a lot of head movement. Like he's not he's not a difficult guy to find at all. He bends at his knees a little bit, and that's how he avoids shots. Uh, combination punching, like Goodman throws, is going to be a problem for him. Like I said, he, he, he's a little lazy, leaves himself wide open. He's a little lazy with his jab, bringing it back. But he's a strong, solid puncher uh, who commits to his shots. He's accurate from long range. So offensively, he's got some things going. But defensively, like I said, he's slow and he's flawed. And it's just going to be a, a lot for him to keep Goodman off him. I think Goodman outlasts him. I think this is a, a fun fight. I think this fight is close to the odds suggest. Um. But because of the sloppiness, because of the speed difference, uh, and, and because of the experience difference, I, I like Goodman to win this fight. Uh, let's take a look at the odds on this. I'll show you. There's some interesting bets that we can make on this fight that's going to make us some money that I like. Uh, if you pull it up, uh, we got the money lines. Goodman, that's not paying a ton. Um, what I like is the over 9.5. I think the fight goes the distance. This is a fight that's scheduled for 12 rounds. I, I do think it goes a distance. Uh, if you want to put it on Goodman. So there's some decent props here that, that we can take. Um, I like all three of these. The over. So if you bet $300 on this $500, a one times bet on each bet, what you're going to make is $250, $255. So if this hits, your three hundred dollar bet. If Goodman wins a decision, which I think he will, um, you're going to make two fifty five on a three hundred dollar bet. Uh, otherwise, you know, if any of this misses, you, you can you can do the math on it. But this is the bet. I, I I'm confident with it. You've given yourself appropriate hedge. There's a late stoppage. I I, I can't see Goodman not winning. But a three hundred dollar bet here, one times each on the over on Goodman and Sam Goodman by decision. Is going to pay you uh, two hundred fifty five dollars and twenty dollars. It's close to even, which is which is interesting odds for a fight that seems like it should be fairly one sided. Uh, but I, I do think goes the distance. Like I said, Warwant does get hit, but he's, he seems durable. He seems strong. Goodman's not a mad puncher. Um, if, if you look at it, most of their fights go the distance. His uh, for Warwant is his last four fights have gone the distance. His, his one stop is came over a guy that was 14 and 8, and then his fight before that also went the distance. He really only stops guys who are outclassed. Whereas Goodman, uh, he's like I said, he's not a puncher. He's got just eight knockouts. Although his last fight did end in a knockout, again, it was subpar competition. So I do like this fight to go the distance, and I, I do like the over nine and a half in addition to Goodman winning. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. It is July 9th, uh, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.